every appliance in the van is all going to be able to run fully off the battery systems. Aircon, our washing machine, uh, our hairdryer for the, the missus, the microwave. It's an Enerdrive power kit. Uh, so we're installing it today and tomorrow. 300 amp hours of lithium. It's going to be sick. Uh, keep watching to find out more. All right, we're about to install the kit. I'll just run quickly through all the components. Uh, glass solar panel. 150 watts. White lithium power pack from Enerdrive. Yeah, 300 amp hour, 12 volt. And there's an active balancing system, which is the whole brains behind charging the batteries. Battery management system. That's uh, uh, Yeah, heart and soul of the system, to be honest. And then it's a... Uh, 3000 watts, 120 amp charger. Wowee. Tristar. 45 amp. Yep, and DC to DC charger. Capable of up to 50 amp output straight into your battery. Uh, we're going to put it in. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so all the components of my kit fitted in the one storage hatch, which is unreal for us. In this back one here, next to the wheel arch, nice and level over the axle, so it's good weight distribution. Inside, you've got the lithium power pack, the white pack, and then in beside that, there's the battery management system, and then the DC to DC charger, the inverter, which does the, all the charging and the 240 volt power, and then on the inside um, is the solar controller. So the whole kit goes in there, nice and compact. It's wired up schmick by the guys here at the repair center, and uh, that powers our whole van. So now, uh, aircon, microwave, washing machine, uh, what else we got? Fridge, hair dryers, hair straighteners, neutral bullet. I don't know, you can do anything. Make a smoothie, dry your hair, iron your hair with a bloody GHD, whatever you want to do with the <laughs> missus. Uh, it's fantastic. So we're going to be able to go wherever we want now. Think of the savings on free camps, you know? We don't have to pay for park fees anymore if we don't want to. All we need to find is water on the way to our next location, and uh, we're good to go. The whole, uh, whole van is going to be self-sufficient, and um, we're happy days, mate. Lithium is heaps lighter than AGM and lead acid, so um, just to put in perspective, our 300 amp hour battery is about 50 kilos. If you wanted to get the same usable amps in an AGM, you'd have to get 456 amp hours of it, and it'd weigh between 120, 140 kilos, depending on the brand you went for. So, And um, the other big thing for us, because we use it constantly, is they've got a rapid uh, discharge and charge cycle, lithium, so, and a three times longer life cycle in charging and discharging. So. Um, we can use it more, we can charge it up faster, and uh, it handles higher loads, so we can run things like our aircon um, and my wife's hair straightener. So the only thing we needed to change on the car was an extra charging circuit for the DC to DC charger we put in the van. So it's so easy as running six BNS cable from the front battery uh, through a circuit breaker and a fuse. Down the back here to an extra 50 amp Anderson plug. So. Piece of cake, another one on the van that runs through the DC to DC, and that's the only mod we had to make on the car to run this new system. For one, you, there's not many places you're allowed to use them, national parks, a lot of free camps, all that sort of stuff. Two, uh, they're bloody annoying, and we actually like parking next to people and them not wanting to shoot us in the morning because we've been running a bloody noisy generator. Uh, three, we don't have to carry fuel, we don't have to carry a generator, we don't have to pull it out run it 40 metres away and run a lead out to charge our van while we want to make a cup of coffee because that's just a pain in the bum and who wants to do that? And um, for most generators these days, one kVA or less, uh, be lucky to put out 40 amps of current anyway for your charger. Um, we can just plug in the DC to DC in our car and that's 40 amps of current going back into it. So a lot easier and not offensive doing that than starting up a Jenny. So for a system like ours, uh, I've got the product tagged in the post actually. It's about 10 grand and then you've got install on top of that. But to put it in perspective, um, we spent $10,000 on caravan park fees in our first year of travel. Um, we only have to travel for one more year and that system's paid itself off. Plus think of all the benefits of um, how you get to use it, like having the full functionality and all your appliances when you're free camping in all these remote awesome places around Australia. Um, it's going to pay itself off and it's going to make your trip bloody fantastic. All I have to do is tap into your existing 240 volt circuit, uh, fit all the new components in somewhere. I think that's the hardest part is trying to maneuver everything like a game of Tetris and get it all to fit. But because it is in component form, you're able to do that and not waste any space in your van, which is good. And uh, we didn't affect any of the original 12 volt uh, wiring in the van. So all we did was unplug the original charger 
Uh, we still run all our 12 volt circuit through the original uh, system in the van. And then the good thing about that is if we change vans, I can just lift all this lithium gear out of this van and reinstall it on the next one. I can plug my original charger back in, switch it on, van's back to standard. Happy days. I'm just going to show you the sun's kicking up there. I'm going to show you how well the solar works in here on the new system. I'll give you the back to show this over. So we've got, roll back there, the aircon is on, cranking at 16 degrees, full fan. And if you come and have a look up here, look at that, it's only pulling 22 amps out of our battery system. That's because the solar is topping up. Someone forgot to eat breakfast this morning. I'm starving, so I've just pulled up on the side of the road. <laughs> And I'll just put a bowl of uh, quick oats on. I'm going to have some porridge. Oh, I don't have to listen to her whinging in the car. Nice. Had a roadside stop in Clareview. Car's hooked up. Just going to making some lunch for the kids. Here's the missus. How's my coffee going, dear? Good, good. There it goes. Good work, mate. Look at that. Here's another benefit. Hey. Trying to feel a bit girly today. Give my hair a quick straighten and uh, doing it off the battery. Uh, keep watching, we're gonna have some mad vids coming from uh, the places we go and the stuff we can do with this new setup. So cheers, catch us later.